this is the card I'm going to be doing today. Isn't it cool? This is from The Adventurous Sky. And this is for a couple that love to fly, um, go, go different places, um, vacation in lots of different places. So I thought it was appropriate and they got engaged at um, where the airplanes were at the airport. So this is the uh, Adventurous Sky. I use this one for the front of the card. I use this one for the inside of the card and I use this one on the envelope. Now I didn't color that one because I figured it didn't necessarily have to be. I just put some blue ink around it so it looked like it was flying in the sky. You can color it. I just chose not to to give you, to show you a different option. I'm using this uh, green, yeah, of course. It's um, the evergreen trees that I'm putting on the designer series paper. I use the second to the smallest, and this is stylish shape dies, and that's for the vellum. Now, I don't know if we've got vellum anymore, and I can't find it, because I have a hard time with the catalog. But anyways, I did the propeller in vellum. Now I am using this Thoughtful Journey DSP. Now, ah, oh, this stuff is gorgeous. This could, it could make beautiful scenes. Isn't that gorgeous? Or just be used as any background. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, the colors are just stunning the way they're applied. And like, this is a horizon, and this is the, the sky, morning sky, night sky, whatever you want it to be. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, this is just, this, this is like stunning. Like, I love this paper. This is the one I used. This to me is so gorgeous. All you have to do is put a um, sentiment on it, do a label, do a sentiment, just whatever. You could put some linen thread on it and call it a day. Like, look at this, how gorgeous it is. Like, this is gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the one I did. So I my cut mine at five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So I cut it from here down, five and one eighth, and I cut it from this over uh, three and seven eighths because I wanted it lower in the sky. I wanted more sky for the airplane to be in. So this piece that was cut off, it was like seven eighths of an inch. I cut it down to half half an inch and I put that on the inside. Oh yeah. Inside of the card. And then I just put the plane on top of it or over top of it. I just, I just thought it was um, a pretty way of using the DSP, but I also wanted to use that little, little tiny plane that I, I just absolutely love. So we will get started, I think. Now, where did I put everything? I had it a minute ago. No, I don't have it. Okay, I thought I... Oh my word. I stuck it under something else. So, this is the way the designer series paper looks. And we will get started with it. Now, I did use something that's been discontinued um they're i'll show you what they are in a minute i i had all kinds of them so i just um 
Get rid of this. Can't use that. It will get wrecked. Now I'm going to take it. A post-it note. Sure I am. I hate these that go back and forth. Honest to Pete. I never know <laughs> which way is which way. Oh, which way it comes detached. So now I'm going to take the um, uh, evergreen trees and uh, shaded spruce. I tried garden green and although I really like garden green, it is um, harder to get a dark image on the um, and not have everything show through it. So yeah, even the the when I do it the second stamping it just it is uh, more challenging to get a clear image now if I put this like this maybe I can get it straight up and down And you just pick and choose where you're going to put these. There's no right or wrong. It's just where you choose. And you can make them as tall or as short as you want to. Just like that. And I'm going to put there. Now that is going to go away so I don't do anything and I'm going to put the um, post-it note on top so it does not get ink everywhere and I'm going to put that up so because it's an accident waiting to happen to me. <laughs> This is one of those quick and easy cards that we need, but I think I think they will like it because it really fits what they do, especially when they got engaged at an airport. And she likes vintage stuff, so I think that she will like it. Now I have pre-stamp the happy anniversary because I borrowed this stamp it's not mine and uh, I had to give it back <laughs> it's from the sweet uh, sweet script or sweet oh shoot I just had it too it's an online stamp set what's it called I wrote it down um, sweetly scripted <laughs> but it's an online set now we're going to put this on because I might just as well when I'm working with it I got my husband looking for chicken thighs for supper. <laughs> he doesn't remember where he put them. <laughs> and I don't know either. That's why I asked him to get them. Because we just had them last week. And I want to do... We have um, 
not a lot of green beans from the garden and cherry tomatoes, but enough that I would like to do um, a recipe. I've ha I had this recipe years ago and we I made it and we loved it. But do you think I can find it? So I went online and decided with the recipe and yeah, so that's what we're going to have. Now I'm using pecan pie dark. Now you can change the airplane. I made it so that it blends with the, um, uh, the colors in the card. Maybe I'll do red this time. Yeah, maybe I will. Um, see let's do a swatch and I will decide which I want to use I think I want to use the poppy parade okay so now what I'm going to do is just outline it with this dark red. So how's everybody doing? What's it like at your place today? It's a little cooler today. It's not 90 degrees here. It's beautiful outside. Went outside and I checked my garden and picked some cherry tomatoes and green beans. <laughs> and we will be having them for supper uh, in this casserole. And Well, it's a... Um, it's so a one pot meal in the fry pan. Get those out of the way so I don't try to use those. And, um, and my yellow zucchini, summer squash. I pick one of those and I will do that up. I like to do um, fry onions with the zucchini and um, put some garlic scapes in it and fresh uh, garlic powder. My own garlic powder. Now mind you I didn't grow the garlic but um, there we go. That will brighten up the sky. And now I'm going to do, this is the bottom of the wings that I'm doing. So I'm doing it a different color just to give it a pop. And um, fry it in a little bit of bacon grease. Sometimes, sometimes just olive oil and have a stir fry. We've been doing that most of the summer and since we got vegetables coming out of the garden. I parboil the, the green beans because I don't, I, Bill doesn't like them just fried in the fry pan. They're not, they're al dente and he's not an al dente al dente person he likes his green beans on the soft side so i just parboil them so that i can put the fork through them and then i just throw them in at the last minute just to um, get a little bit of brown on them 
and uh, sometimes I put peppers in, sometimes I put um, mushrooms, just whatever I've got available and season it with different herbs, um, Italian seasoning, oregano, thyme, anything, anything. I haven't done rosemary yet, but I've got some to do. So that might be tonight's variation on a theme. <laughs> I do love um, a stir fry. Now, that was um, Pebbled Path, light and dark. Now I'm doing light basic black on the wheels. I very rarely do the black because it's so dark that you can't see any of the detail through it. So I just, I use the light one most of the time for things that I want detail shown. There. Now, what I'm going to do is put that there. This is from style stylish shapes now there's there's another one it's just a little bit bigger but this is the perfect size if you have that die it's the perfect size but you can you it's one and eight eight inch so if you can find a die or a punch that's one and an eighth that will be absolutely perfect And I am going through like that. And then I'm taking one of these. And now I can't think of what they're called. But uh, the dollar store has them. If Stampin' Up! doesn't have them. I don't know. It might still have something. And it has this... Um, on the back and what I usually do is just take my scissors and I use the handle and push down on it so it's flat. Isn't that cool? It just makes the propeller look a little bit uh, different and it's noticeable. So. Now I'm using my mini dimensionals. I want something on every point, like if it's, um, you know what I mean, so that it doesn't sink down it will stay up so I do I do that to push put these on and then when I take my pokey tool, tool and take the backings off I don't take the uh, dimensionals off with me Just check. I love the dark ones because you don't have to check. <laughs> they, they let you know that because they go, if you've taken the black backing off, it is um, white underneath. Or no, the I have it the other way around. It's white and then there's um, black underneath. Sorry about that trying to confuse everybody. Now I forgot to do this but I am going to put birds in the sky because it just looks cool and this is a black marker and it's just 
a V, a fancy V. No big deal. Easy peasy. That's what I want. And this is what I want. And then I'm going to glue this on. Just remember to glue the right side down, not the wrong side. Because especially with this one, it's it looks the same on both sides. Or the same colors on both sides, sorry. Not it does not look the same. It has the same colors. There we go. And now I am going to put this on. Isn't that cute? I love that little one. Now I gotta put that aside and I'm going to bring in this and do the medium one. I'm not putting the whole thing on. Jeez, I hope. Yep. <laughs> I did not check that time. I had checked, but I didn't check that time. So it's, I'm just lucky that, yeah, just lucky that it's on the right side up. <laughs> that would have been fun. There we go. And that's done. Easy. And this is with boho blue. I'm sticking with the um, uh, in colors, or some of the in colors, because this was wild wheat that I did on the other plane, and this is pebbled path, and this is boho blue. So, yeah. I just, I just did boho blue light on the, this is light, yeah. No, it's dark. That's why it's, it's like, this is not how it was. <laughs> Make sure you get the light one. It, it shows better. It's not as dark. Well, obviously it's not as dark. That's dumb. Silly me. But it just, I think it just shows up a little bit better if it's light. You can see more of the details if it's, if it's done in the light. I hope that makes sense. And I just did the whole thing in the same color. I didn't use the dark and I don't know why I have it out. But anyways, just like that. There we go. So what do you think? Do you like this? Would this be something that you would like to get? I hope they are. <laughs> I hope they want, are happy with this. Let me know which one you think. I'm kind of thinking maybe the, the red one. It just gives it a pop. But anyways, let me know, Wild Wheat or Poppy Parade, which one do you think uh, is the best? 
Thanks so much for being here. I truly appreciate you taking time out of your busy day and spending it with me. That makes that that's priceless to me. It it really truly is. Thanks again. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. It costs you nothing and you get notified when I put up a new video. Thanks. Bye now.